we are one step closer tonight to a verdict in the jury trial against Chesterfield father Cassine Weaver. The former University of Richmond basketball standout faces a number of charges, including murder and the death of his youngest child, a Don Weaver, whose remains were found in the family's freezer back in 2021. Eight News reporter Sierra Krug joining us live from the courthouse. And Sierra, is the jury still deliberating at this hour? Well, Eric, today both prosecution and the defense rested their cases and made their closing arguments. Now, a major update from today is that Cassine Weaver made the decision not to take the stand, meaning the 12 person jury is currently deliberating without having heard the perspective directly from the father about that tragic day in 2018. Because Weaver chose not to testify, defense's case rested heavily on one witness they called to stand, a medical expert who believes Adon's cause of death should have been labeled undetermined. You'll recall an autopsy report found two short fractures on the child's skull and five fractured ribs. A medical examiner previously stated he believed the cause of death to be blunt force trauma. Defense's witness said skull fractures alone are not lethal, and because of decomposition, examiners did not have enough information to assume Adon's death happened as a result of those fractures. A key piece of prosecution's argument was that when Adon stopped breathing right before his death, Cassie neglected to call 911. To that, defense brought up a similar incident nine days prior when the toddler lost consciousness and was revived by mother Dina Weaver, who is certified in CPR. The couple did not take Adon to an emergency room after that incident, so defense suggested that on the day Adon did die, Cassine was just doing what he had seen work days before. In their closing argument, defense brought up something they called the elephant in the room, which was that both Dina and Cassine Weaver preserved Adon's body in that freezer and then continued to live in that home for more than two years without reporting it. Right now, I'm told we're going to get an update pretty soon about whether or not the jury will continue deliberations on through the night or if they'll take a break and then resume tomorrow morning. Stick with 8 News for updates. For now, live in Chesterfield, Sierra Krug, 8 News.